Long, long, long time ago in 2016, Rebecca Gay made five basic lands. This is the island or waterfall, but island. Three other artists did a total. Two other, two other artists, Kev Walker, Mark Poole, also did a basic land suite. This box here is a surprise. Don't want to miss out on this one. Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. For more information about our consulting and professional services, visit VintageMagic.com. All right, guys. Welcome back. This is a really cool video. This is going to be all about the 2016 Commander Basic Lands Original Art by Rebecca Gay. Uh, a friend of mine and one of the most famous artists of Magic the Gathering, um, in my era especially. She's also a gallery artist. Uh, she also is a, a fine artist, gallery artist, shown all over. Um, does incredible work. Uh, you want to, I might actually uh, do a little, uh, in the end of the video, um, I'll put, I'll do a little uh, preview of some of the stuff in my collection for her um, gallery work. So you can take a look. All right, guys. So I got this from her. Uh, this, by the way, was the island uh, for the 2016 Commander set. Uh, actually, a waterfall, but considered an island. And you'll notice something here. This is very signature of hers. It's like a, a I don't know what it's called again. It's like a, a Japanese type of stamp. Um, it's kind of like a, I don't know if it's a heat stamp or something where it's a, her special signature. That That's her signature. So... I think she um, has, she's used some techniques from Japanese type of art. You'll see that with some of the fine art. But over the years recently, she's gone to more of the surrealism or more of the, I don't know, kind of, I would say more like pop um, or political direction. Um, you know, more, obviously she's all, always loved to draw women and uh, men and their penises. You'll notice that in their, um, in that, in a lot of her uh, fine art now, there's been a lot of like uh, male nudity and women nudity also uh, based on political topics or something um, in that regard. So over the years, it's gotten more and more, uh, more and more interesting. But, you know, I think artists, artists change over the years. I mean, that's the thing is artists style everything. It changes over the years, so it's okay to have that kind of thing, you know, that kind of like change and evolution. Um, I think, in fact, she also had an art book as a Kickstarter, and the title of the book was called Evolution, I believe. Uh, and the the book cover, um, the painting is called Little Fish, is a triptych, and um, I have that painting, and uh, I could probably show you guys it's, I think it's like 10 feet by 10 feet long by six feet uh, wide height I, I don't uh, height wise so I don't know it's pretty massive but an incredible art book it has magic the gathering art it has other type of um, just incredible amount of work uh, from her fine art magic gathering art uh, just her, you know, it, her work is just incredible. If you guys love art, Rebecca is definitely uh, one of my top favorites of all time. Another thing, she's all, she's also a very incredible person. That's the thing is, uh, she's always, she's kind of like that old soul, you know, like someone you could talk to and really, you know, get to know someone that you know has incredible passion for art and teaching she has a, a, a school called the smart school which is um it stands for something actually i think the smart part but she has that every year it's run uh, very well she has guests and uh, art directors and different guest artists from around the world who are special guests every year students come and um essentially are a big part of, you know, 
like it's a great learning process, especially for newer students. Um, definitely worth worth it if you are beginning. Wow, this thing is packaged like a rock. All right, and there's also going to be a gift in here. Um, I think there's something, yep, very special. Very special. Kind of give you a preview. Oh, look at that. A little gift there. All right, so. There's your packaging. Go back up. You're watching. Thank you. Lots of clear bags. All right, so let's take a look. Um, oh, this is funny. This is the uh, certificate of authenticity. I confirm that this is the piece of the original art of MTG is by me, underline, and the only one of its kind, of its image. It's in a Sharpie, which is acidic, which I don't understand, because she's very big into that uh, archival stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's not acidic. Maybe, well, I know Sharpies are acidic, but on a board, probably doesn't matter. I don't know. Okay. Whatever. I'm not going to care about that. It's a really thick board, by the way. This is the... Well, do this. Really cool here. Wow, this is really exciting. Actually, oh, just dropped it. This is the mountain. Wow, 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 wow. It's not a big image for those of you who care about size. But um, who cares? <laughs> I would probably say it's um, it's eight and a half by eleven, so this is like ten. Eight by ten? Eight by ten? That's my guess. All right. But it is on the super thick kind of a panel i think it's um there's a, it's on a paper and then um gessoed meaning it's been um just prop it's kind of a, a way to stick it on to the harder surface so it could be framed and protected better rather than just be on a paper and it's obviously archival materials but look at the style look at the look at the um the technique she has absolutely look at this i'll darken it look at that Look at the oil. This is all oil, by the way. Absolutely gorgeous. There's some varnish on there, which is basically keeps it shiny and protected. But gorgeous. Go to the Commander 2016 lands, guys, for Rebecca Gay. And tell me, is this, uh, does it do it justice, right? And definitely, uh, this is like a, almost a volcano in a way. Like the darkened sky. Don't know if it, or if it's just the dark sky itself, but kind of seems like that. This is the mountain. Much darker than I would. Mountain. Alright, so. Uh, I might just keep this one. Uh, oh, that's cool. She gave me some mouse pads. That's really nice of her. Thanks, Rebecca. It's really sweet of you. Oh, what is this from? I wonder if it's from one of her... Um... Oh, you can order this on RebeccaGay.com. G U A Y Rebecca R E B E C C A G U A Y, and she has these mouse pads and maybe play mats. I, I think she has play mats now running too. So check that out. I uh, put that over here. It's really cool. Thank you, Rebecca. Next one is the forest. I love this one. I love all of them, but this one really is knockout. Look at this. Oh, my Lord. Wow. It kind of has that fairy tale, um, you know, just the fairy tale look. Gorgeous. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. That's something you can stare at forever. And Rebecca does not do a lot of magic paintings. In fact, she's told me this is probably her last commission uh, for a long, long time, if not, I don't know, forever. I mean, she has she doesn't do this kind of work. 
she doesn't have the time uh, for the illustrations. She, over the years, she's just done a lot of gallery and personal work. Um, and obviously with the smart school being so successful, taking a lot of her time. But who's to say, you know, Rebecca may actually uh, go off and uh, do more magic work. I'm not sure. I mean, it all depends on her schedule. Uh, I know she has a daughter who's grown up. I think she went to college, actually. So that would... Oh, this is... Okay, so this one is a little interesting. This is the planes, and I want you guys to look at this. I actually have the sketch, color sketch that was done, the only one. This one was digitally enhanced originally. If you look at it, um, and the original version was similar to this, pretty much this, but um, some details were um, enhanced digitally. So what she did with this guy is this one was actually... Um, corrected in terms of you know painted additionally to look like the original card image gorgeous absolutely absolutely gorgeous god her style her technique and just being an art collector and being around for so many years and seeing art i mean her style is just so perfect there's nothing, there's nothing like that compares to, there's nothing that, you know, like some artists are like, oh, that looks like the same. And this is the last one. It is the Swamp. I think this looks more like a beautiful Swamp, to be honest. I don't know. Almost like a, like a Bayou in a way. Could be like the art for Bayou. I don't know. And there it is. Look at that. That is the Swamp. It seems to me like like an evening, an evening, like early evening, and the stars are out there, you know, coming out. Or maybe those are will-o'-wisps. I don't know. If you had like little dots there, I don't know if that's, I don't think that's meant to be will-o'-wisps. I don't know. Maybe those are just pink blots. Um, I love the sun or the uh, the moon. I believe that's the moon, right? I just love it. It's a gorgeous painting. It had, it's not like the typical. And you know, like Mark Poole, for example, he does like a comment, a comment or something. He likes to do those little um, things. Um, Rebecca doesn't do that, but I think Rebecca's style, if you look at these, tend to be very, like, uh, not just fantasy, but almost as if, like, almost like a, a Almost like a, how would you call it? Like something you would see in like, like a movie or something. You know, something super imaginary. Like one of those movies you see. Let me zoom in real quick. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely is fantasy, but it almost feels so real. Like I could see how that could even be somewhere, you know, in Louisiana or something. Or somewhere where there's a lot of bayous and swamps. Um I can see how like this waterfall in a way can remind me of, um, you know, places that like, in the, you know, like when there's like mountainous areas and there's greenery, um, kind of on an island, any island really, but there's also waterfalls and large dark rocks, river rocks and everywhere. And you can stand there, take pictures. That reminds me of this, this image. This one's a little interesting. I don't know if the, um, it reminds me almost of like Africa or something, somewhere in Asia, because the trees tend to be more circular. I wonder how, where her references were. This one at first seems like, you know how Mount Fuji is so grand, but Mount Fuji obviously is not a uh, red. I think it's a volcano though, but though it, it has a similar shape in my opinion at first, not the same color. But just, the, I think her, it's great about her art is that it really has a, a center focus. Like the mountain, the light goes right to the, um, you know, it goes right to the water. It keeps her eye into there. So you have all this darkness. You have darkness, always this kind of like you're going into the, you're kind of seeing, you're kind of walking into this incredible image. Again, the light goes right there. And then the planes is very interesting. 
the focus is, in my opinion, the tree is very dark. So it's always towards the center. You have the plains and the vastness, but you also, it's almost like you're sitting there appreciating the uh, kind of, you know, it's almost like going to the countryside and just reading a book or taking a nap. It's almost like you can lay right here and take a nap. And the waterfall, obviously, you have the two rocks and then you come together in the middle, almost like you're standing there, almost like going there with your significant other and just giving her a kiss or just going there and just relaxing and enjoying the water and, and the, the, the warmth of the air. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the Commander 2016 Original Art Rebecca Gay Basic Lands. Uh, these are on my collection. They're not for sale. Um, I will be trying to frame it all together. I got this first, and then I got these four, so I need to figure out how I'm going to frame it together, but put them all together. It'd be great. All right, guys, and hold on real quick, and we'll take a look at uh, the some of the original art from her um her actual uh, uh, fine art itself. All right, guys, and we're back. So this is a painting called uh, Love Poem. And like I was telling you guys before, this is very much, you know, her more of the Japanese um, kind of style, um, more romanticized art. Again, that stamp that she has, very well known and signed and big pencil. And this is on, uh, I think, a, a, a very thin paper, um, but beautiful. The style reminds me similar to a lot, similar to a lot of that Japanese art. But um, to me, you know, for this one, I really love this piece um, because of the fact that it's the expression of his hands on her, and it's just a romantic posture and them being nude. It kind of it has that bond between two two. Uh, you know, husband and wife, girlfriend and boyfriend, the connection. I think it's really beautiful. Oh, side note, um, <laughs> you're going to laugh. These pillows and the decor of this particular room, it's called the Little Fish Room because you see the colors. All these colors there, it's that gold and black. Well, let me show you why. Even the chair there, this is the reason why. This is the Little Fish original art by Rebecca Gay. It's a triptych like I was telling you guys. So look it up online, Little Fish, Rebecca Gay, get a better picture. The light's kind of weird right now, but it's gold leaf um, and oils um, on panels. And I, I, I've always said I love this piece because of the fact that it reminds me of the expression of multiple emotions in life, how you can swoop, swoop, at, swoop out, grab on, and then it just keeps coming back. You just keep fighting, keep moving forward. The fish could be represented in a way as uh, the demons, right? Things that are attacking you in life, but you can always come back. And really um, keep grabbing on and fighting forward and moving forward. They're all connected. You notice the hands right there, they're all connected. Expression of their arms. It's like a it's almost like the like I love the number eight, right? How it kind of is circular and has that infinity symbol. And obviously you have Street Fighter, which is a must. There's some Rebecca Gay pieces on the floor there, which I'll show next time. But this one's kind of cool. I just got this one. Uh, the Sarah Angel, as you guys would recognize from the Magic the Gathering world. It is, though, a very big piece of art. Yeah, it's basically uh, a big piece of art. Look at that. Huge. Um, I think it's like 40, 36 by 48, something like that. Anyway, uh, it's kind of, uh, it was from her last show at the R. Mickelson, Mickelson Gallery in uh, Massachusetts. And it's basically, um, I think the show was like Loves and Kisses. And so obviously you have the Hugs and Kisses. 
really love this card itself. And uh, when I saw it, I definitely wanted to, to have this in my collection. Here's another one. I was talking about political stuff earlier. Um, this is Michelle Obama. And this was part of, a, a, I think, a charity piece that she had. And I just thought it was very beautiful. It really captured Michelle Obama's beauty and her grace. And um, you notice that the setting is when it was back in the day. You notice the top hats. It's almost as just the the the, the early early days, um, kind of like colonial days. But I thought it was a beautiful piece, and she's such an inspiration to women and people all over the world. Um, incredible piece. And so I was telling you guys. Rebecca's done art, um, kind of created art in that sense of political nature, um, you know, over the years, expressing her thoughts and her passion uh, for women. This one's kind of cool. This is the bad lighting here, but it's a Sarah, a Sarah Angel cover art for a comic book. I love this piece a lot. You can see the blood on the sword. It's almost like she's, she died. There's a story behind that. I don't really know the exact story, but I just love this piece. This is the book cover, or the comic book cover of her. She did a, Rebecca did a comic book series. Several pages um, were available here and there over the years at her booth, and um, I never was in that time of collecting. I do, I do have some of them, but I like the book cover one the most. And last but not least for today's little art session for Rebecca's art. This is actually a magic piece. It's a alliances piece called Sustaining Spirit. Don't mind the cords. I'm kind of doing some remodel here. Um, but this is just one of my most favorite pieces ever. It's, uh, it's not an angel creature, but it's an angel. I think she's sitting like almost on the world. In a way. You notice that? It almost looks like the world. The earth. But maybe just river rocks or water. But her emotions. Her the sadness. Her thought. You don't know what. You don't know if it's remembering someone that just died and passed. Or it's someone that she misses because she loves, loves him. Incredible. All right, guys. Well, I wish you guys all the best and love and happiness in your life. Check out RebeccaGay.com and be sure to check out all of her work. And um, I'm not sure if she has any more of her books left, but I know I have a bunch of those. Not really going to sell them yet, but I do appreciate your support and I hope you guys appreciate her art and check her out. Buy a play map, buy some artist proofs, get some cards signed. Have a great week, guys. Take care. Hey, guys. It's me, Daniel, with VintageMagic.com. Today, I want to talk to you more about our artist representation services. If you have a portfolio of artists that you're looking for a commission, artist proofs, alters, signings, we are the one-stop shop you need. No one in the world has handled more important and rare Magic the Gathering art than myself. I've worked with some of the most iconic Magic the Gathering artists in working to acquire their original Magic art. The Artist Representation Service at VintageMagic.com is a one-stop shop. Being an art collector myself, I know how important it is that your time needs to be saved. What happens is you have lots of different artists around the world to manage and contact. Why not have a company represent you on every single artist that you speak to. This way, every single commission, every artist proof, every altar, every signing is managed as a one-stop shop. I've had tremendous experience in working with Magic the Gathering artists all over the world. And I look forward to helping you complete your Magic the Gathering art collection. Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. For more information about our consulting and professional services, visit VintageMagic.com.